Hey y'all, what's going on? This is Jesse Boats from the 19th hole, and uh, I'm going to play my lower expert account today. We're going to do it in a, a walkthrough style. Not what I wanted to do. I would have rather played it live, but um, last night had a really bad pinched nerve in my neck. Still still hurting me today a pretty good amount, and uh, this is the only way I can I think to do it, because I can only play a few holes at a time. Looking down at the, the tablet just really does not help the situation so we're going to still push through here it's Wednesday you got to um, try to qualify today I did not play either of my expert accounts yesterday so hopefully we can get through and hopefully get this uh, neck thing taken care of before the weekend round starts so we're gonna start a hole number one and this is my lower level expert account so I don't necessarily have the clubs that are needed to make some of these high um, you know, flying high type shots with like the Apocalypse 5 and stuff like that. So what we're going to have to do is <clears throat> we're going to have to play an error-free round here. Um, play very conservative and smart shots and try to, uh, you know, set ourselves up for the best chance possible to make the Eagles. Um, so hole number one we're going to start with here. And we're going to play it with a, gar um, a Goliath shot and uh, plus 10% for the downhill shot. And we're going to play this one. I've seen people play this one so many different ways. Um, I still would like to try to figure out a way on the right-hand side, but it's just I don't know if it's feasible here in expert. So we're going to play with um, one backspin and five right spin. <clears throat> and we're going to try and see how this one works. So we will not show opponent shots, just my shots. So I'll be right back. All right, so here we are. All right, 9-0 wind. All right. And we said, what do we say? One down, a five right. Like that right there. Mid range um, for the adjustment, so 4.5 rings. There's four and about 0.5 right there. We hit it perfect, so let's see what this one does. Not a bad try right there. Not a bad try right there. So we'll try to make some corrections on that shot uh, for next time. See if we can get that one a little bit more in line to the hole. I really like the speed on that shot, though. Uh, it's just overall, this is a tough hole to get an ace on. Specifically, um, you know, because the landing spot uh, on the first shot, the slopes are just there. You know, it's hard to find a really good flat spot, and a lot of it does depend on the uh, the type of bounce that you get. So keep trying things on this hole. Hopefully, we can figure it out and tune it in for the. Uh, weekend round. We'll be back for hole number two in just a moment. So we got hole eight for our shootout on hole one. I figured I'd show you all real quick. That's going to be a very shortened, condensed version, but I'll try to talk you through it as, as easily, uh, as good as I can. Uh, Guardian, full back spin. Um, we went one right spin for the wind, and you know we played it at minimum distance. And basically what you want to do is you just want to make sure you get the ball to the fair, to the green and then give that, sh that ball a chance to slope back down the green. We didn't get the ace, but we came really close. But uh, basically that's just I wanted to show you um, the landing spot for that shot. And uh, I don't know, it may help you for hole eight. Uh, but the key thing to remember there is a, a plus 10% adjustment. And you're going to play that shot at min uh, club. I would definitely suggest taking a ball at least a kingmaker uh, if you want to go with a higher level wind resistance ball that may help as well uh, so all right be right back for hole two all right we're back for hole number two the festive cup tournament this is expert uh, playthrough here with jesse bows from the 19th hole and this is my uh my new expert account this is the first time playing expert on this account so definitely, it's definitely uh, excited to be breaking in the Who's account into the expert ranks. 
Uh, we are going to play uh, a Thor 5 curl shot here on this hole. Um, this will probably be one of the only holes that I do play a special type of shot um, on this account. I do have a few other special shots planned on my main account, um, but that's with an Apocalypse 5 club, so you know, the, um, the possibilities are a little bit more when you have an Apocalypse 5. I don't even have an extra mile 8 on this account, so you know, I couldn't even think of using the, the 8 um, on one specific hole on this course, which would be the next hole. So let's see, we got BJD up, and let's see who goes first. BJD goes first, we'll be right back. All right, so we're back here. Uh, we're going with the uh, Kingmaker ball, full left, two and a half top spin. We have 8.4 miles per hour, so that's 5.6. All right, so we turn our, our screen straight, pull it out to max and we want to land it somewhere in there so that's 5 10 5 10 15 right about there and full curl full hook and this should be good let's wait and see That's perfect, and that's just exactly the way I drew it up um, and showed on the um, the video for this hole. The only difference was the uh, the wind speed was a little bit less on the video. I only had like three and a half bars, so you know that's why you saw the difference in uh, the amount of adjustment, you know, back towards me was uh, because there was was less wind on the previous video. There was more wind on this shot. And that's the difference there. <clears throat> but everything else is the same way you set up and adjust for the shot. Uh, and you can check out that video on my YouTube page. It's a, it's a guide, a tutorial for this hole and how to make that shot. So now we've got a Guardian here. 7.4. And as you see, we have plenty of room. Plenty of room. We're going to play, uh, play it right about there. We're going to play um, no spin. So 7.4, we'll do a 5.3 adjustment for this shot. We hit it perfect. This one should be close. It may miss still, but it should be close. Yeah, not a bad try right there. Not a bad try at all. I think I actually ended up putting a little bit of topspin on that shot, which was kind of a mistake. I don't really want any topspin on that shot. I just like to play a natural type of roll. Um, you know, I do want to make sure that that second bounce is hitting that uh, that slope of fairway on the front part of the green. You know, and that kind of helps dead in the ball a little bit. Um, if you do get the eagle on this hole, it's going to be a pretty decent roll to the hole. And, oh, nice shot there from my opponent. Well done. Nice save. Um, so, we'll put this one in. We'll get the little birdie, uh, which is good. A, a very large majority of people will get the birdie on this hole. Uh, if you don't get a birdie on this hole, you are going to be in trouble. So, you know. But there will be lots of people who do get a par. So, all right. We'll see you all on hole three. All right, we are back, hole number three. This is the Who's account, my lower expert level account. Don't have the clubs to be able to go for the big long shot over the, the bunker. So I elect to play it up uh, safely uh, using my rock. You can also use a quarterback on this hole. Definitely would be a decent club to use. Uh, I like the accuracy. I like the ball guide. I like to have that preciseness. Uh, to get that ball to the exact location that I want it for off the drive. For the second club, I will be using the big dog and hopefully put myself in distance for a nice thorn shot at the hole. And that is the, the plan. Uh, that second shot with the thorn will be a minus 10% because it is uphill. And we will play a plus 10% on the drive because it is downhill. 
So I am first. 9.1 wind with the Kingmaker Ball. So that's five. Okay. So that's five. Let's put uh, some top spin on this ball and see where we can get it with five. Five right there. So we can play uh we can play three rings adjustment back here for this shot. I'm gonna play four rings adjustment back here for this shot. So we played five into the wind and we adjusted for four to try to make sure that we do stay uh, you know back a little bit and that's perfect so basically you know we factored a nine wind push for the wind we we pushed our shot forward five rings and we saw that our line would still be fine and short of that uh, that rough line so we were okay with five extra rings of distance what we did then is we cut the difference and we, we adjusted for uh, four rings of difference so Hopefully you all understand what I just did right there. Basically I wanted to use some of the wind, but I didn't want to use all of the wind. So I adjusted for the wind that I didn't use. So my next shot will be a big dog shot. Um, and if, if you're wondering, when I am talking, and you know, if I have some other stuff to say, I will continue through and watch the next person's shot. But otherwise I will just uh, forward to my shot. We're not going to play any um, adjustment for the wind on this shot right here. 7.1. Uh, we're going to play uh, 5 top spin, 3 right spin. Want our shot to go right up in here. Uh, Shrum are right in there. So 7.1, 3 ring adjustment. Something like that. We hit it perfect. Now this one should be okay. We should get up into the uh, right up the side there. Yep. It's very important to make sure that you try to aim that shot as dead center of that right fairway as possible. Otherwise, uh, if you do use that much top spin, you will end up in that rough or bunker on the left or even the rough on the right. So it's definitely very important that you line that shot up. As you saw, I pulled my shot forward into the overpower where I wanted the ball guide to go. And then I adjusted back in the direction of the wind three rings for max on that shot. So the next shot we're gonna take is with the thorn. <clears throat> it is an uphill shot. So we will adjust 10% uphill for the shot and we'll see if we can drop it 8-4 wind let's see we got min max this is pretty much a max shot yeah All right, so we'll play that right there. Max is four four rings. I haven't taken this shot before like this, but I wanted to try it out. Ah, oh, hit a great left, so it doesn't even matter. It's going to be off. A little bit over adjusted there anyway. Uh, the ball would have bounced over the hole no matter what. You know, the other option is to use the um, use the back of that hill to slope it back in with more backspin I guess we could play on that shot I think we would have run out of room though I think we would have been in max club too soon um, you can also take that shot off of the fairway cut I would not recommend taking the shot off the fringe cut of the green though um, but you can take that shot off the fairway cut if I had a little bit higher level of a thorn that, that shot would be a little bit easier but lower level thorn less ball guide makes it a little bit more difficult On my main account, I probably take that shot off of the um, actual fairway cut that goes around the green uh, because I have a maxed out thorn on my main account. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to stop here um, and take a small break. 
and I'm going to upload this video so that y'all can watch holes one through three and then hopefully uh, in a little while I will play the next three holes and then upload those for y'all as well. So hopefully see you all in the next video.